Hello everyone, this is Andre Dyson from Studio 270 Digital Media Lab. And right now we're going to get into the integration of Zoom.com with software on your computer. In this case, we're going to do Logic Pro X. So let's get into it. I already have with up here the Zoom site, my account. You obviously have to log in. This is what we do uh, during our sessions. Uh, during the time of COVID and social distancing, this is what we've been doing and how we integrate Zoom with the Logic Pro software, interacting with uh, our patrons. And also, uh, this is a behind the scenes access to the process. Some of you may not know how we do that or how, uh, you know, technically they're in person and we still use Zoom to be like in the other room. We'll set everything up for you guys and be in the other room. Well, this is how we do it through Zoom. So we set up a meeting, schedule a meeting, and then we also send it to you uh, via email. And we can copy and paste the link on uh, your name in Setmore. When you sign up, we sign you up in Setmore to have your uh, appointment ready. So all we have to do is go into your appointment time and select the link and launch the link so it's pretty easy um i'll join now i've already had it pre-set up so this is called you can name it whatever you want but i call it the dml digital media lab test session and uh, you set the date and the time which will be the same time as the appointment and it creates the meeting id the security code if you want and the invite link we just really share the invite link and we allow participants to join at any time and the video and the audio will be turned on. So I'll join in before I even launch Logic Pro. And as you've heard, let's see. Mute. That's a good example. I wanted that to happen because that is the feedback. I'm already logged in as another um it, through my phone. So I'm logged in at, through my phone. I sent the link to myself. My phone technically could be someone else listening in. So this is the space right here up top. And uh, I could change the view. Let's go to speaker. Check, check, check. This shows two participants. Let's change the view back to gallery. So this is Zoom without Logic Pro. So this is my computer's uh, camera and then my phone camera. As you can see, this is me, right? So my phone, pretend, let's pretend my phone is the participant or the patron. And I'm here in the lab. They send me files. So you would send your music, your, your beats, or things you've already pre-recorded that you want to mix or work on. So uh, you can still be involved in the process. Um, I'll get away from that. And let's launch Logic Pro. So this is you tuning in, and this is me on the bottom. And I can control all these functions. So I'm, on my end, I muted my phone. You can mute your phone on your end, and I don't hear you. Uh, you can start or stop video. It shows me on my phone uh, the video. But I don't have, it. when I try to allow the video, it says unable to access camera. You know, you have to set your, your settings privacies and allow the zoom camera so this is why you don't see me up here on the top as well from my camera's perspective but also that's a good idea because you you also have to have on the back end your phone settings to be compliant with the zoom software the zoom app so we'll get we'll open up logic pro and right as of now on the phone i cannot see anything so Remember, the person is the phone. I can't see anything from that end, but if I wanted to share the screen, I could, and this is how we share the screen. So I go to Zoom, and now that Zoom is up, you can see that the participants, I can open up the chat and talk. And I see that on my phone as well. I see the hello that I just wrote. Um, I can share the screen, which is the most important thing the host disable screen sharing. So let's let's see how we can enable that. On 
my end. I think it's because I opened it up on my phone first. So share content. Let's go to the phone. I'm actually as I'm gonna end on the phone's end. Okay, meeting has been ended by host. So let's get back into it. Start meeting with video. Okay, so like we'll invite, I can invite somebody if I need to. And I'll do I'll send it to my email actually. We can just email it to myself. So because I opened up my phone first, that phone is the host, not the main computer. So that's something to remember. And it'll send back to me. So now this is the host, right? This computer is the host. And then now if I go to my phone and go to my email, I should have the link. And I'll mute it. Okay, so now I'm back in. So now, okay, now I have the, the screen share control settings because now the computer itself with the software is the host and not the phone. So that would be the patron. So I have to be the host in order to control that. So we'll just let that be. And right now I can control mute, stop video, all that, but we will share the screen. Now, when you share the screen, I can choose to select the desktop. So everything that is on my desktop, the patron will see. I usually just try to do, be more discreet unless there's something else that I have to open up that they will have to have access to. But just to keep it more discreet, you can just share the intentional uh, software you, you want to focus on. And as you see, as you open any other software, it pops up as an option to share. We will share sound. And as you see, I hover over the share sound. It says, it, had, it says that it shares the sound as well as the video. So we'll share that sound. And then now I'm screen sharing and on my phone, I see the session. There you go. So I can see the session on my phone. And, you, and the patron is able to be there without being there, which is, this really helped us as our, this really helped our services through the digital media lab, uh, uh, social distancing time. And as it becomes more part of our process, we'll still be able to use this technology and hopefully have more ideas to stay in contact with people no matter what. Really, there's no excuses to have to wait to, to be in contact with somebody at this point with you know, uh, with this technology. So it's very important to be able to understand how you can be a part of this process and make an appointment, still not be here, but still be here. So, and we will use this process even through, uh, if they're in, in person appointments for the time being, as there still are kind of strict rules about, uh, social distancing, you know, I can set this up. I can set everything up here in the lab for you. And then you'll be able to uh, record and I'll be able to be on the other end guiding you through the process, how to record, how to, uh, if anything's going wrong, be able to troubleshoot with you. So this is a very powerful tool. Um, and let's see if it can share some of the audio. We'll just play what's here. I can adjust and I'm looking at my phone and I can see all the adjustments being made. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is our process using Zoom and Logic Pro X. If you didn't know how the process works, this is a behind the scenes uh, technique. 
how you can be on your phone and still be present in the in the session. So very powerful. Uh, this again, my name is Andre Dyson with Studio Two Seventy Digital Media Lab. Uh, it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Please make an appointment if you have a library card uh, in the Gail Borden Public Library District area, and hope to see you soon. Thanks.